everyone, welcome back. I have a review for you today. Um, it is going to be on Rimmel face products. I have two foundations, a concealer, and a powder. And if you see Tracen running in the background, half naked, just be okay with it. Okay, so if you want to see a review on um, these products right here, Keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I have for you is a foundation that I bought um, quite a while ago that I've been reaching for lately, and this is the Rimmel uh, Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. I have it in the color 201 Classic Beige. Um, how I put this on is um, I put a little on the back of my hand. I use my um, beauty blender um, that's moist. I dab it on, and I dab it all over my face. It does not leave a sticky finish. Um, I don't know about 25 hour lasting, but it definitely lasts uh, quite a while. I do find, since it's been a little humid here in Michigan, I do find that I'm reaching um, for this powder, the Stay Matte Powder, to set on it sometime around 12.30, 1 o'clock. Since I do get ready for work around 6, so it lasts quite a while before I feel like I'm a little sticky, I guess you could say, but I don't know if that has to do with um, the moisture in the air or the product or a combination. Um, but I do think that this lasts quite a while. Um, towards the end of the night, I don't have to reapply it. I literally am just putting a little bit more powder on if I'm going out that night. Um, and you can build this. It is a pretty full coverage foundation, so I usually use just one um, layer. And then um, if I'm going out at night and I want a little bit more of a flawless finish, I do use two layers. Um, so this is awesome. I really highly recommend this. I have very sensitive skin and I haven't broken out from this. Um, it's been great. The next thing that I picked up maybe two weeks ago, I think it might have been in a haul, maybe three weeks ago, um, because I wanted to try another foundation of theirs. Um, this is the Rimmel Clean Finish Foundation and it says, look 100% poreless. Um, I got it in 330 sand. I've used this quite a bit too. I mean, it's down to there. Um, this is a definitely a lighter coverage. Um, I think it's a lighter color too. They didn't have the same um, number scheme, so I couldn't just get a 201 in this one. Um, what I thought was really cool about this, I did see this in another YouTube review, but what I thought was really cool, I think Dulce had it. Anyways, it has like this little wand thingy, kind of like a little spatula, so you can kind of scoop the product out, and so I actually just leave it on there, and I usually take my stippling brush or the beauty blender, I take it on this and just pat it all over. Um, like I said, this is very, um, it's a very sheer coverage, very light coverage. I can do anywhere from one to three, like, kind of coats of this, and I still feel totally okay with it on. I don't feel like it's too much. So, I don't feel like, um, this is super thick or cakey ever, even throughout the day. I don't feel like I need to reapply this. Um, it's really good. So the next thing I got, and I got this a while ago as well. I think when I got um, this foundation, it's the Stay Matte Press Powder. It just looks like that. I got it in 005 Silky Beige. And um, it's a little light, um, but that's okay because I don't like to have like a very dark face and I usually just contour anyway with blush and bronzer. So um, it has shine control in it, long lasting, flawless matte coverage with natural minerals. Um, it's definitely um, a great finish. I don't feel like it's cakey or powdery at all and the finish is really nice. So I definitely recommend this. I know they have, they only have about four colors in it. So that's probably the only downfall is that um, and they're lighter I mean I think this is the darkest you can get the 005 I think it's like one two three and four there might be five I'm not sure but it's uh, I think this is the darkest you can go so that's the only downfall um, it is good to set um, for your um, concealer as well so if you just want to use for like a setting powder for your concealer this is also good the last thing I got and this is actually my first Rimmel product I ever purchased and I think it was on Sonia's which is SC Casaneda. I believe it was on her um, review. She got this concealer. It's a concealer and highlighter in one. I got it in 245 Light. It's right there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and it is Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. 
the brush just looks like this and you squeeze the tube, the product comes out and dispenses and um, I put it on my hand but it's very light, you can't really see it but I um, use it a lot and I dot it on my eyes in like a V. I also put it under my eyebrows right here to really give that highlighted feel or if I'm going out at night and I have like a more defined brow then I'll kind of like box my brows in with this. Um, this is great. You can put one layer, you can put four layers. Um, you can build it up. It's it's very good. Um, again, let's see. Oh, it says right here. If you use Rimmel Foundation Shade Number, and then it lists right here, then this is the color you should use in the concealer. So, I use... What is this? Rimmel 330. Oh. I'm actually, yeah. So I use Rimmel Foundation 330, so it's recommending that I use 335, but I like my concealers a shade lighter, so this is perfect because it says 245 is for the lighter ones. Um, I have been very, very happy with Rimmel. Um, it's, at price point, it's a little bit higher than NYC. Um, so I've been very impressed with Rimmel overall. I think um, the quality is good. The price is excellent. Like I said, it's a little bit more than NYC. But I definitely think you're getting your money's worth. I mean, I would probably buy it even if it was a little more, a bit more. So I find all of these, Tracen has the concealer, but I find all of these at uh, CV. Like I said, um, I definitely recommend Rimmel products. I think it's very good. Quality wise, I think it's very good price rise. Um, I look forward to trying more products out. I right now just have face products. Um, I'm going to look into the lip products next as well as um, the eye products. I really want to try out the, um, I think they have a coal eyeliner. So I really want to try. I hope you found this uh, review helpful if you're on the fence about um, purchasing some real products, try it out and you can always return it. So if you know this wasn't your color, return it. If you didn't like this, return it. Um, as long as you don't use a ton of it, um, you know CVS, they will take it back as long as you have a receipt. So thank you. Definitely try these products out as well as the concealer that little Tracen has and let me know in the comments below. Other recommendations, please let me know. Can you say bye Trace? Say bye. Good job. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.